You may be surprised to learn that Pluto has come back into focus after being demoted to a dwarf planet. In fact, scientists are panicking over some photos of Pluto. What they show is indeed astonishing, and we have to wonder how NASA and hundreds of planetary scientists around the world could simply overlook these things until now. For nearly a decade, scientists on the New Horizons mission have patiently waited for this moment. The mysterious world of Pluto has always been a source of fascination for astronomers and space enthusiasts. But it's only now that never-before-seen photos of Pluto are revealing its breathtaking secrets. Are we possibly on the verge of discovering extraterrestrial life at the very end of the solar system? Pluto, once the ninth major planet in the solar system, is located in the distant Kuiper Belt, a region far beyond Neptune's sphere of influence. When the planet was discovered in 1905, it caused a stir. Another planet had already been predicted by various astronomers, but still its discovery was an exciting thing. By now, the excitement had died down, and thanks to telescopes like Hubble, we know of many more dwarf planets in the Kuiper Belt. Pluto became one of many, and science had a problem. Either add all the new planets. That would have meant that the students among you would have to memorize about 20 planet names, and possibly there are still more to come. Or put Pluto and the other tiny ones in their own category. In 2006, the International Commission of Astronomers decided the second option. Pluto became a trans-Neptunian object and a dwarf planet. Now, it almost seems as if the declassified one strikes back, because Pluto surprises with brand new details, with which nobody would have expected. What does the god of the underworld reveal? When the discovery of the new planet was announced more than 100 years ago, a little girl suggested an interesting name, Pluto. It was a spontaneous idea, said the child's father, an astronomer. How exactly his daughter came up with Pluto of all things, the Roman god of the underworld, the father could not explain. The name arrived and the ninth planet was called Pluto from then on. If the name giver is programmed, it must be icy cold in the underworld because Pluto's surface belongs to the coldest places in our solar system. With temperatures dropping to an icy negative 225 degrees to negative 240 degrees Celsius, hardly anyone thought life could exist here. However, Images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope have revealed changes on Pluto's surface that indicate amazing variations. Pluto must be alive on the inside. But on the outside, Pluto looks much like its namesake from the world of the gods, lonely, mysterious, and shrouded in darkness. More than 40 astronomical units away from the Sun, the planet hovers in front of a cosmic canvas so jet black that it can only be made out with very good telescopes. That the god of the underworld is good for a surprise is shown by the planet's heart. This prominent spot is considered Pluto's trademark, and yet it shows that love reigns in the underworld as well. Pluto needs 248 Earth years to circle the Sun once, and on its orbit, it's not alone. The moon Charon keeps it company. New Horizons now reveals incredible things. When the New Horizons space probe set out on its journey, Pluto was still a planet. When it arrived, it was tasked with studying a seemingly irrelevant dwarf planet. At that point, only Pluto fans still believed the planet would make a comeback, and they were to be proven right. The probe had become necessary because questions had been left unanswered. Even when viewed through the powerful lens of the Hubble Space Telescope, Pluto appears as a blurry brown disk with no discernible surface features when viewed from Earth. To overcome this challenge, Scientists sent the New Horizons spacecraft on a major mission in 2006. It was a very long journey. It took nine years and eight months for the probe to arrive at its destination in 2015. A tingle ran down the spines of the scientists who accompanied the probe's arrival when they first saw Pluto in all its glory. Pin sharp, in shades of red, white, and beige, Pluto suddenly revealed itself like a distant, mysterious land. Meanwhile, New Horizons made more than 400 observations and collected an astonishing 6 gigabytes of data. It took a year to send all the data, images, and measurement results across the vast distance to Earth, and the evaluations continue to this day. But one thing struck the scientists right away. Pluto's surface had changed since the last observations with Hubble. But how could that be if the planet was supposedly dead? 
Pluto is alive. Scientists had long suspected that Pluto had an unusually large and wide solid core about 1,700 kilometers in diameter. The planet's interior should be a mixture of icy water and rock. Around the innermost core is very likely a layer of ice about 300 kilometers thick. However, it was previously unknown that these formations were moving, but the Hubble and New Horizons photos showed it quite clearly. Pluto's surface had changed so much that active geological processes must be going on inside. This raises the question of whether Pluto also harbors liquid water in its depths and is thus similar to Jupiter's and Saturn's moons Europa and Enceladus, a candidate for extraterrestrial life. In its outermost layer, Pluto has gases such as nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide frozen into a crust. Its core, according to the latest observations, could generate enough heat to melt part of the icy layer. Possibly hiding in the depths is a salty, toxic ocean filled with dissolved ammonia. Think of it as a mysterious, hidden underwater world beneath the icy shell where strange and mysterious things happen, much like in the realm of the underworld god. Pluto's surface is like an icy freezer, but inside it could be bubbling. And that's exactly what no one expected. The scientists were glad to have sent new horizons to Pluto because now we have the possibility to elicit, also, this unusual celestial body, all its secrets. Pluto's Big Heart The Tombow region is a vast area located near Pluto's equator. It is the heart of Pluto, covering nearly a quarter of the planet's entire surface. Imagine stepping through a portal into the underworld, about to meet the dark god of this world, and then he's standing there in a pink bathrobe, holding out a pink heart to you and saying, hi there. It was similar to this for the first scientists who examined Pluto more closely. Pluto went from being a sinister fellow to a planet with a heart, and we rejoice in these images as much as the scientists. In fact, people all over the world took Pluto to their hearts, and when it was announced that it was no longer to be a planet, protests erupted. Hundreds of people wrote to astronomical associations, to governments, or to NASA. There was no concession because of it. Too finally, the astronomers had considered the new borders for genuine planets. To undo them was out of the question, but some experts suspect that this could change again. Pluto has been whistling about planet status for so long, preferring to draw attention to itself again with exciting discoveries. New Horizons found that the bright region of its heart, which scientists call Sputnik Planitia, was formed about 100 million years ago in a massive collision with a celestial body. The impact left a monumental crater that may have subsequently become the reservoir for Pluto's hypothetical inner ocean. One possible scenario shows that the contents of the ocean rapidly solidified and later formed the icy plains we see now. Evidence of this glacial transformation can be seen by the landscape. Huge flat areas about 20 to 30 kilometers wide resemble complex patterns we see when a liquid is heated from below, much like boiling water in a pot. This remarkable region is surrounded by impressive mountain ranges. To the west of Sputnik Planitia are the Hilary Montes mountain ranges, which reach impressive heights of three and a half kilometers. Further south, in the center of the heart, follow the Townsend Montes. Here, some of the rocky giants rise more than six kilometers into the dark sky most of these mountains are composed mainly of water ice, many as solid as rock by the pressure of Pluto. Further south, massively layered mounds of ice and rock indicate the remains of an ancient cryovolcano. This too is evidence that Pluto has a troubled past and may still be busier than we thought. Mysterious Maculas We travel further east on Pluto and along the equator. There, we notice a series of huge dark spots stretching for hundreds of kilometers. Scientists call these enigmatic formations macules, and all of them are named after dark deities of different cultures. All the maculas together form a huge cosmic structure known as the brass knuckles that surrounds Pluto along its entire equatorial belt. The true nature of these maculas remains a mystery. It's believed that their dusky appearance is due to a high concentration of tholons. Tholons, are complex organic compounds formed from constituents of Pluto's atmosphere, 
specifically nitrogen and methane. When these gases are exposed to the intense ultraviolet radiation of sunlight, they can be converted into tholons, which are deposited on the surface. What makes tholons particularly intriguing is their ability to absorb incoming sunlight, creating dark, unusual patches on Pluto's surface. These spots can occupy vast areas and are a significant feature of the macular landscape. Scientists are still trying to understand the exact chemical composition and formation of tholons on Pluto. However, it's clear that these compounds play an important role in shaping the dwarf planet's surface and atmosphere. In the future, further exploration of tholons and their effects on Pluto will help to further unlock the mysteries of this distant celestial body and deepen our understanding of the entire outer solar system. All of the objects and dwarf planets in the outer solar system likely have a history all their own, of which we know very little so far. A Double Planet System? In addition to its striking inclination to the ecliptic plane, Pluto prances slightly on its position in space. A strange motion is excited by Pluto's massive moon, Charon. Charon is an unusually large moon, and its mass exerts a profound influence. Pluto and the moon have a very unusual cosmic partnership. Their orbits revolve around a common center of mass. They are inseparable and always turn the same side to each other. While Pluto's surface shows a diverse composition and almost colorful surface, Charon presents itself much darker. The moon consists of water, methane, and nitrogen. Charon is not the only moon of Pluto. Nix and Hydra are only a few kilometers wide and were only discovered by chance by Hubble in 2005. Kerberos and Styx are even smaller, measuring no more than 16 kilometers. The smaller moons consist mainly of water ice, and together they form a celestial entourage. It almost seems as if the pair, Pluto and Charon, are danced around by a group of small icy moons. The strange play of Pluto and Charon, and the latest data from the New Horizons probe, even led researchers to a whole new thesis, according to which Pluto and its largest moon are actually a double planet system. New Horizons was even able to determine that the two celestial bodies, which are magically bound to each other, exchange gases with each other and thus actively shape and form each other. This makes the Pluto-Charon system undoubtedly one of the most fascinating formations in the solar system and calls for further investigation. If you love amazing videos on space, subscribe to this channel now.